I have absolutely no belief you would win this series playing Jimmy Howard. None. As in zero. If you play Morazic, do I see a scenario where the kid could play well enough that you'd have a chance, that you'd be in it, that you would actually threaten? Again, if he stood on his head. Yes, I do. I think it's no shot with Howard. I think it's a minimal shot with Morazic, but minimal's better than none. Uh, I think Babcock absolutely nailed it, and and you had to go with Morazic. It's a higher ceiling. It's a guy that just, in general, looks better. The other moves he made were interesting. I mean, Landon Ferraro being here for the playoffs now, but the bigger one is Marchenko on the blue line. I mean, th- this is something where you can really tell that he wants the right-handed shots out there to pair with all the left-handers. You went out and acquired Zidlitsky for the same reason, but now Marchenko would be taking, you know, the spot of Smith. I don't think Smith's any good, in my novice opinion. But I would love to get the hockey elite to join in and tell me if they're all right with the moves Babcock has made here. Let's face it. The head coach of the Red Wings is like any high-profile head coach, whether it's Notre Dame football or manager of the Yankees. Everything you do is going to be scrutinized. And Babcock does a lot of things that anger a lot of people. Morazic is your starter. A couple of, you know, you're going to have Marchenko on the blue line instead of an established player. Is there, and this is, this is like speak now or forever hold your peace. Is there anyone out there with an issue with this? 248 539 9797. Now understand, it doesn't matter who we put in that. I wouldn't pick you to win a playoff series because for the better part of the second half of the season, you're just not playing a good brand of hockey. The turnovers in your own end, the inconsistencies with scoring, the inconsistencies in the net, it's been a problem. And then on top of it, you had to factor in injuries. Whether it was Dotsuk ailing, Cole ended up getting hurt, injuries were everywhere. I can't pick you to win a series playing that way. Now, if this team goes in and the pilot light goes on and all of a sudden, hey, they're playing the way they were pre-All-Star break, pre-Howard injury, well, then certainly you'd have a shot. But when's the last time you saw an extended run by this team? You know, when's how about this? When's the last time you went out and won back-to-back hockey games? I mean, you have to go back to late February. So... I think, look, run the kid out there. Maybe you catch lightning in a bottle. Maybe you get that that Jiguer run, that quick run, that Cam Ward run. Maybe you get it because I know with Howard you won't. And it's no secret. You know, I know people, you know, we've talked to you, the caller, and the hockey fan calls in and goes, look, I like Morozik better. They play better for him. He just looks better. Okay, fine. We know he's not going to get Elite coverage in front of him. Okay? Clearly. It doesn't matter who you put in net. The Wings are not a good defensive team. So who's the guy that's got a better shot to stand up to a 38-shot night? Tampa is arguably the most exciting team in the game. They're going to score. They're going to move up and down the ice. Who's the guy that's got the better shot to do it? It's Morazic. I don't think there's any... I couldn't find a single reason to play Howard. But the other stuff should factor in, too. I think Marchenko playing ahead of a Brandon Smith, that's that's potentially a big move. And it would certainly usher uh, Smith out of town. But I'm fine with it. And I, I think Babcock knows this team has a limited shot to get this done. A very limited shot. But he's going to take it. 